Today I'm going to show you how to configure a simple Vogier paging solution. I've just created a new project and the first thing we're looking at is the main layout. We'll begin by configuring our page codes and paging zones in the world properties. The properties of Vogier devices can be accessed by double clicking them or by right clicking and selecting configure. We'll begin by naming our world building one. As you can see, there's quite a few areas to customize the features of our world. However, for our paging system, we're only going to need the zones and the page code section. Let's imagine our building has three levels and that each is its own separate paging zone. Select New and a new zone is created. We'll rename Zone 1 to Level 1 so that it's easier to recognize later in our project. Because we have two more zones with the same properties, select the zone we just created and select Duplicate twice. Duplicate's a great tool when designing large systems. It allows a quick method of creating multiple items in a short amount of time. We'll then go back and modify the names again to suit our project's requirements. Now we're going to create the page code to page to these zones. Again, I'm going to use the duplicate function since the properties of our three page codes are quite similar. Now I'll associate our page codes to their zones. Select the Zones tab and use the checkboxes to assign the zones. Now before we move on, I want to set up a page code to page to all three levels at the same time. I anticipate an all level page would be more important than any single level page, so I'll set its priority to high. Now that our page codes and zones are configured, I'll save this off and we can add our paging device. For this exercise, I'm just going to use a DS4. By right clicking the appropriate folder, you can add devices to the project. We want to add a paging station, so right click the audio inputs and select a DS4. Again, you'll notice the name field, but now in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a device ID field. Most physical Vocheers devices have a device ID. The device ID is required to match on the physical device and in the software to uniquely identify the device on the network. You can either use the double click function on the MSB and the LSB to set the device ID, or you can adjust the device ID using the hex ID field. We'll name our paging station level 1, 2 and 3 paging station. In the DS4 general screen, you'll see two sections. The top area is where you configure preambles and the lower area is used to enable pin codes and select the authorised paging users. We're not going to change any of these settings here for now, but let's go to our page codes icon where we'll associate the page codes to the physical buttons of the paging station. Again, let's save the changes. The last step in our paging system is to add our output device. Seeing as this system only requires three output zones, a VA4030 amplifier seems appropriate. Again, we'll name the device and set the device ID. In our case, the physical device has been set to A1. The lower section of the properties window is where we'll assign the zones to the physical amplifier outputs. In this case, we'll use output 1 for level 1, output 2 for level 2, and so on. Again, save these changes. Now that we've completed the steps to configure our paging system, we need to go online with the software. If all Vocia devices report as available, they'll show in the main layout as online. The green signifies the devices are operating correctly and they're ready to accept a configuration. By using the Send Configuration button, 
we start transmitting the project to the devices. As part of a send configuration, a validation and compilation are performed. These both check all devices have been provided the necessary information and that there's no conflicts between them. Specifically, the validate function runs through a series of checks. If it identifies any as unacceptable, a failure message gets given. The good thing is if a validation fails, it gives you the details of why and will point you in the direction to resolve the problem. You'll notice a few validation messages highlighted in different colours. Throughout Vochir, there's a colour code system to allow quick representation of such things like system health, active alarms, and as you see here, validation warnings. The colours used are green, red, and yellow. You can think of them similar to a traffic light. Green represents the device is healthy and that no errors are detected. Items in yellow aren't going to prevent the system from functioning, however, there's still things you should be aware of. Items in red are the most critical. These indicate a device is unavailable, the configuration is invalid, or an operation didn't complete properly. The validation results we see here show us our project is valid with warnings. The warnings we're seeing are that there's no assigned background channels in our zones. In a small system like this, I'm not worried about zones not having any background sources, so we can just accept and ignore these indications. If we close the validation results, we're shown the Send Configuration screen. Here it shows us that the devices have their configuration and that Send completed successfully. You're now ready to begin using your new paging system, 